Hello, hello, hello everyone! I'm back and today we're going to be playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So I thought, you know what, I'm going. I was watching uh, some meme videos and whatnot and was like, you know what, I want to try this game. So now I'm here, I'm going to try it. I'm probably going to do bad, but hey, I'm going to do these uh, difficulties. So. Because I haven't played this game before. I mean, the only Metal Gear game I played before was a demo of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, which I believe, yeah, for the 3DS it was a demo for, and uh, I played uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. I completed Chapter 1 of that game, and uh, I'm working on Chapter 2. So, the next mission I have for Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, I get a, I'm gonna get a flamethrower. Fire. So anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna record till I reach the, well, till I beat the first boss. So, because I, I'm quite aware of the bosses, I'm not aware of what all the enemies are, no, on the level layout. So, so I'm gonna start my new game. I'm gonna go easy, and if it t it's too easy, I'll bump it up to normal. So uh, for other uh, when pairing both new day, I wanna play on the Nah, I don't need that. Yes, I will play the tutorial because I have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm, this is nice. Soliton radar on the upper right and head to the point marked on the display. Okay. You can jump over obstacles, but the ninja run will get you across them more quickly and well, easily. It's literally a misspelling of doctor, okay. Oh, they automatically do the actions? So long as you're doing them. You can also attack while in motion with the ninja run, you know. Swinging your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. Okay. I can't. I can't aim. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can. Do they just infinitely spawn? Well, that's cool. Let me zoom. So light, heavy, right? I think that's how it works. Okay. I think I understand what I'm doing. Maybe. This is, are these the VR missions? I was looking at them earlier. Oh, 
So that ended way too quickly, okay. Combat is not all offense, however. You also need to protect yourself. Okay, how do I parry? First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. This is how you parry. It is the keystone of your defense. Oh. Nope. Okay. I think I figured that out now. See. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your food's movements carefully. Ah, oh, I missed. I'm having a blast doing this. Is that all the tutorials or are there more? I don't know. Yep, that was all the tutorials, okay. Gameplay wise, I recently glued my uh, right stick uh, on so it won't probably won't fall off with the super glue. Yeah, it's a really old controller anyway. Lights up. And all it takes is a single moment to do undo it all. Thank you, sir. Your team. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups. Private security provider, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like one sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes, by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. It's all... You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What is happening? Someone's blocking a lead vehicle. Hold on. Up oh, here he comes, the mean man himself. Here he goes.
Here we go, here we go. And here's the meme. Yep, that's... Ah, uh, yes. Casually destroying the pavement. I don't think you can block that with a sword. Yeah, I don't think you can. Really does look like the prototype I saw. Yeah, it's got the long tail. Up. Here's the meme guy as well.
Is it scruffy and practical? Yes. Is it cool looking? Yes. I don't know if that means he's still alive or he's merely incapacitated. It might mean he's actually dead. I don't know. I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same. SOP. I don't know who SOP is to be referred. Clean break from the war economy. Huh. Almost the economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't worry now. I will Not while he's still useful. <laughs> so long. First boss, first phase, let's go. Music's kicking in. Let's see how long I make it. How do you jump? I can't jump shit. Yeah, I'm locked onto something. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's airborne. Okay. Come on, bring that head of yours low. Is I hitting it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. Oh, there's a kill. Now, how many more times do I have to do this? I don't know. Yep. Oh, I can't take... I can't dodge that tail for shit. And there's the right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, this is fun. I'm gonna throw it. See, I'm throwing it. Yeah, that was awesome. 
How well did I do? I got an A! Yay! Okay. It's relatively straight. Okay. Think here. Yeah. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Do I know I'm having fun? Yes. I am having fun. Okay, there he is. Let's go! We just did this in the tutorial. I know what I'm doing, okay? No, I didn't want to do that because I out there. Yeah, so you can screw yourself over with blade mode. Important stairs that you have to crawl across. You can screw it up. And here's part two. Yes. It's a Metal Gear after all. Oh. How do I dodge this? I do not know. Oh, I do. I can jump. Cow, that was close. I'm taking off its chin. Will it work? Yes. Oh. Let's take care of this gun. Am I slashing too much? Yes. Do I care? No. Oh, I... Holy cow! I got... I'm having fun. Jump across the missiles. And that's part two. Now part three. Yes, music. Okay, run. Here we go. Brace down. Let's cut it open. And there it goes. Was there any more combat to this? I don't remember. Oh hey, I got an S ranking! Yay! Undoubtedly, what does that mean? I don't remember. It's cutscene time! Oh wait, there's still a... Uh... Does that have tracks on it? No, those are wheels. Never mind. Uh, wait, no. They are tracks. No. Yes? No? No, it's just wheels. I missed. That's gonna be killer. I don't think I could do that. I definitely know for sure I can. I'm not a cyborg. Defy physics! I, get, I believe I get to save after this. Okay. I'm on the train now. Well, Raiden's on the train now.
Now what do I do? Roger. What? Okay, I'm not familiar with that vehicle. Oh. Okay. Mid to the next cutscene. I'm going to suck at this. Mind if I got in? All we're saying. Give more a chance. No. Yep. Oh, it's it's just the helicopter. Yeah, I'm gonna have to parry a lot. Don't be shy. Okay. Pay attention. Yes! Ow. Okay. I can't parry for shit. Okay, I'm getting stun locked by this guy. Yeah, I. St oh fuck. If I attack in every direction, I'm bound to. Well, doesn't matter. Hitting green number two. And there goes my eye. Alright, in Zaya, anyway. It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice.
And it'll go to the arm. I believe that's a reference to Metal Gear Solid 4. He said the line. That's two armored trucks. No, not trucks. They're armored vehicles. APCs. Two of them, yes? Or was there a third I miss? I don't know. Anyway, once I get to a point where I can save, uh, I'm gonna call it. Hit. Oh, wait. Was there a third? Watch out for chaff. Flares. I know for sure there's two of the APCs, but I don't know if there's a third. There might be a third! Oh, get up, right, and you'll be fine. Chapter result. AS. Thirteen kills, combat rank A. A bonus of 4,000. So yeah. Uh, state. File R00, status closed. Okay, that's the achievement. Now to save. In three weeks. What are we doing now? Oh hey, it's a jet of some kind, I don't know. I actually have no idea what this is called. It would not be an Metal Gear if you did not see that. Cyborg should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory typically located in the left hand? That data is very valuable. 
<clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see your hand. Three mic valve closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Cap, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andre Dolce, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Imani's <laughs> killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is jet stream sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out just in. No. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. And here we go. Deploy person missile. Ready to launch in five, four, three, two, one. And successful delivery. Impressive. There's also a cat. Right, you landed safely, duh? First head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solitan radar. Contact us on codec if you have questions. Okay, where's the cat? I know there's a cat. Okay. Codec. Uh, I actually have. She's for saving, yes, I believe. How we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? Yes. And save complete. Simple, huh? Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. Mm -hmm. I keep asking myself, where would an anti money faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. Mm -hmm. no. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. You're right. Thanks. Okay. I'm gonna save. You need to save? Yeah, I'm gonna save again just for make sure. Roger that. Save complete. Okay, now. I wanted to follow up on our talk earlier. Oh. The stress that comes with the job. PMC work can be traumatic, even for non-combatants. If the pressure ever gets to be too much, have one of the ex-military there take over. Just 
I'm not doing that, Raiden. PMCs wield massive influence over international affairs. Abolishing SOP didn't change that. I don't know who SOP is. Of what they're mixed up in. The laws, politics, local cultures. Ex-military aren't here to provide that. They can't. We need civilian voices like mine here too. Roger. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'd now be the world's clumsiest cyborg. Hey! Cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I thought it saved your ass. How? By spilling coffee all over the enemy? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not that... Oh, son of a... Please tell me that was a joke. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. So, yeah... That was uh, part one, f first boss and tutorial. First time, I think I did all right, and I had lots of fun. So, next part video is coming whenever I feel like it, which is probably tomorrow. Maybe I got some friends coming over later, so I'm gonna play with them a bit, and then we're uh, at, well, we're, we're also gonna hang out. So. Yeah, right now, it, I'm, this is, well, it's afternoon now, so, see you tomorrow, bye-bye.